Okay, uh, what we have here is uh, Organic Girl's new 50-50 uh, Spring Mix and Baby Spinach Blend. Uh, they just came out with this uh, a few months ago, and uh, I've been I've been dying to try it. This is the first package I've I've gotten a hold of. Now, the thing with the 50-50 mix is uh, you still have to buy like a whole bag of the Spring Mix and a whole bag of the Baby Spinach, and you'd have to to mix them together. But then then you would have uh, too much salad. So, uh, ooh, the, the perfect mix. And uh, as you can see, it has been washed three times, so uh, this should be some, some very clean salad. This package is sealed uh, with the, 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 the plastic tag going across the side, so you know that your salad has not been tampered with. Um, let's, let's open up the package now. I'm going to use a fork to unhinge the tag and uh, now we can use the the tabs at the top of the package to open the salad oh god oh god oh hold on um hold on okay now uh today i have your uh, bright farms uh their new local spinach blend, uh, which means it's locally grown. Uh, you're not you're not getting this imported from somewhere like Mexico, where I'm I'm not even sure if they make spinach there. Um, they they have an advertisement for their next product on on the box, which is some good marketing. I always want to sell that product, that next product that you have coming out. It's very important. Um, it's grown in uh, Rochelle, Illinois, which, well, quite frankly, that's not very local, as I. I, I live in San Francisco. Um, expiration date is 9-23-16, so that's, that should be pretty fresh. Um, this particular packaging, a lot of times they have the, the tamper-proof seal, the label that goes around the edge. Uh, not this particular variety though, so I cannot be sure that this spinach does not have anthrax. Let's try and open the package now. This is a very complicated tab. I don't try and, does this go here? I don't, oh, oh, that goes up. Well, that's, a, that's a new innovation in packaging, actually. It, it may actually hinder tampering because it's very difficult to open, but I feel very secure with the spinach. Um, let's give it the test. A lot of times when you, when you think of spinach, you think of like a Popeye can, but not the Okay, so today we have a Roundy's brand uh, Cobb salad with chicken. So that'll be exciting. Uh, now the, the Roundy's Cobb salad, it comes with its own ranch, but personally, my, my personal go-to ranch is the Hidden Valley uh, Ranch Light. Uh, I keep one of these with me everywhere I go, just in case I have a salad. Uh, there's one in my glove box, there's, there's one in my pocket. Uh, my servant is usually carrying around a few. And uh, every time I have a salad, I, I make sure I, I have one of these nearby. Um, now the Roundy's brand, uh, obviously as you can tell by, by looking, you don't get as much as you do in the, the Safeway brand salad. Uh, but uh, I think the quality is just a, a little bit higher, and uh, as you can see, there's some very nice packaging. Uh, it's a, a, a shiny, reflective plastic bottom, um, and they put the expiration date on, on the back, where, where it's, not, it's not ruining the, the aesthetic view of the salad bowl, uh, which is very nice. Uh, we have an ingredient list on the back. Uh, this is Cobb salad with chicken. Those are the ingredients. And some phosphorus or something? Right, let's, let's take a look and see what we get in the Roundy's Cobb salad. Get the tab open. I always have trouble with the tabs. I don't know why that is. I have a tab problem. Uh, uh, here's Newman's own ranch, and uh, I'm not I'm not quite fond of Newman. Not the ranch. I mean Paul Newman. Um, and uh, okay, the salad itself. Uh, it's it's a decent texture for a salad that's been compacted in a plastic bowl. Uh, now now what I might normally do is I might have a separate uh, a package of a salad to use in here instead. Uh, let me go grab that right now. Uh, I, I personally prefer to mix in just a little bit of the man's green leaf singles. Um, just, just to give the salad a little bit of a spice. And uh, let me get this open here. I should have opened this up ahead of time. <laughs> oh, I didn't think to do that. Uh, 
shred that up in there, and then that'll, that'll mix in with the rest of the salad, just to give it a, a little bit of extra texture. And you get one, a hard boiled egg. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Stephen. So what's going on with that new Indiana Jones project? He's too old. What do you mean he's too old? He's only 78. Oh, he agrees to do it? What do you, what do you mean he insists we kill him off again? Oh, Jesus Christ, I made that mad. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so we have some uh, cherry tomatoes. And, uh, well, it's, I'm sure it's a fantastic... Hold on, I've got to go call Stephen back. I'll, I'll finish this later.